welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to get into the new highlighter from Huda Beauty. This is called the Nymph All Over Highlighting Powder. This is a big highlighter, you guys. It's ginormous. It's pretty big. I don't know when in my entire lifetime I would ever use this much product. She's big. I went ahead and picked this up on the Huda Beauty website. This retails for $55. So if you guys have been with me for a minute, you guys know that I like to break things down and get as thorough and deep as we can. So I am going to compare this highlighter per gram and compare it to other popular highlighters that are out there on the market. I will also be doing a lot of different swatches so you guys can see what this color is compared to some of the other colors. Obviously, I will be doing some applications so you guys can see what it looks like on my skin tone. For reference, I am a medium with a golden undertone and in the description box down below, I will leave a list of different foundations that I wear and the shades that I wear in those foundations just to use it as a reference in case you are close to my skin tone and you are wondering how this will look on you. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the price breakdown and then we will jump into the application. This palette from Huda Beauty, like I said, it retails for $55. You get a whopping 1.05 ounces, which is 30 grams worth of product. It's definitely the biggest highlighter I personally have in my collection. This retails for $1.83 per gram. So let's move on to the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette. Now this is available on the Charlotte Tilbury website. The reason why I wanted to compare it to this is because there's a few shades that are very similar to the one from Huda Beauty and they pretty much have the same finish as well. This Bar of Gold from Charlotte Tilbury normally retails for $58. Currently it's on sale for $34.80 by the way. So the website says it has 10 grams worth of product. The packaging says it has 7.5 grams worth of product. So I I am going to go based on the packaging and not the website because you just never know if there's an oversight on the website. So on the back it says it's 7.5 grams which is 0.24 ounces at the full retail price at $58. That makes it $7.73 per gram. On the sell price it's $4.64 per gram. So let's move on to the new one from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette from Hourglass. It's one of my absolute favorite highlighters. So this palette it retails for $64, you get 0 0.30 ounces, which is nine grams. That makes it $7.11 per gram. It, she's very expensive, but I love it and I would pay it again. Even though this one is a costly, I would buy it again. I love it that much. It's absolutely one of my favorite formulas. The next one is from Miss Charlotte Tilbury. This one is also currently still available on her website. This was actually a limited edition. This is the Magic Star, and I've really enjoyed this one as well. You can see I've used a lot of this one. This one retails for $45 you get 0.35 ounces, which is 10 grams worth of product. That makes it $4.50 per gram. So it's actually cheaper per gram than the Bar of Gold. Then I wanted to compare it to the Becca highlighter. Where did she go? Oh my lord. So I don't have a big one of the Champagne Pop, but I am going to be comparing. This is the smaller one of the Champagne Pop. I'm going to be comparing the Champagne Pop shade next to the one from Huda Beauty, but the price is going to be based on the full the full size of the Champagne Pop. So this one is in the shade Vanilla Quartz, and this is nothing like the one from Huda Beauty, but I'm just using it as size reference. So this is just the size, not the shade. That probably didn't make sense, but you know what I mean. The Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter retails for $38 you get 0.28 ounces worth of product, which is 8.5 milliliters. That makes this $4.47 per milliliter per gram, or kind of the milliliters and grams are kind of the same thing. This one's just a little bit cheaper per gram than the Magic Star from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I wanted to finally compare it to the Fenty highlighters. This is the Kilowatt highlighter. Because the Huda Beauty kind of has like a rosy gold shimmer to it, I wanted to compare the shade to this one. This one is the uh, Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. So this one retails for $36. You get 0.24 ounces, which is 5.5 grams. That makes this highlighter $6.55 per gram. So you guys are seeing what I'm talking about. The one from Huda Beauty, you guys, is way cheaper than all of the ones I just mentioned above. It's very expensive to buy, uh, but price per gram, 
it's much less. However, also keep in mind, I will get into the size and how it may or may not benefit you. I will talk about that later on in my final thoughts because uh, not everybody's going to need that much of a highlighter. So we will get into that later on, but that's it for the price breakdown. Let's go ahead and jump into the application portion of the video, and then we will do some swatches so you can see what these look like, and I will put them under a flash so you can see the actual tones and undertones of this highlighter next to some of the other highlighters, and then I will get into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, you guys, so my Huda Beauty highlighter has arrived and she's big. I can tell by the box that Nymph is big. Holy moly, this is huge. I was not expecting it to be this big. Okay, so you guys know how big the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer is. It's bigger than the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. It's huge. Like it's, she's a big, she's a big girl. Okay, so I've heard a few people say that theirs arrived broken. Mine did a tiny, tiny bit. Like, I don't know that I would want to put it on its side. So it's got a little bit of a crack right here. And it could just be because this is just of the embossing and it's just such a beautiful rose. Like, Ooh, I don't like the smell of it. You know what it reminds me of, though? It reminds me of, oh my gosh, the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold. But it smells like the Bar of Gold from Charlotte Tilbury. So if you guys have the Bar of Gold, you'll know exactly that scent I'm talking about. All right, I got you guys zoomed in. Let's start applying this beautiful highlighter. I've been waiting all day to apply this. Okay, so, oh my gosh, it's so big. So I'm gonna take a little bit with my, this is my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. This is the F35. So I don't know how pigmented it is. So, oh my gosh, that's pretty. Okay, that is beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. And it just melts right into the skin. I'm gonna take my finger and put some right here. I love putting it on my Cupid's bow. I'm a Cupid's bow highlighter nut, if you guys have not noticed in every video. I just love a Cupid's bow highlighter. Put a little bit on my nose. And it applies beautifully with the finger as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so, so pretty. I mean, I'm sure you probably have this color in your collection, but damn, this is pretty. Because this has so much product, you're gonna wanna use this on your body because this highlighter will last you for the rest of your life. I have no doubt about it. So let's put some right here on the collarbone. Oh my gosh, you see how pretty that is? This is so pretty. Look how beautiful. Okay, so right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm having way too much fun, but this is super pretty, you guys. Like, super pretty. And what I love about it is the formula. The formula is very, very buttery and melts into the skin so pretty. Wait a minute. This is reminding me of the M. Raze. Hold on. I have a feeling this might be the same formula as the M. Raze. Okay, so this is the M. Raze, and this is the highlighter from Huda. So hers is a little bit more on the rose gold side. So the Amreze is more of a champagne, and this one's more of a rose. Ooh, but it's so, it's the exact same formula, though. So I would say if you love the Amreze highlighter, you love the formula of the Amreze highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreze. You guys have seen me use this as a mirror for a long time. Um, this was in collaboration with Amreze, and this one is discontinued, which really stinks because it's a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. But this is the exact same formula as this. I would say they apply the same, they glisten the skin the same, they melt into the skin. Like they're they're very, very similar. That was what made the M Raze very unique because there was a lot of skin tones that could wear this. Like it it worked for a wide variety of skin tones. Um, I mean, if you were really, really fair, maybe not, but like light to all the way dark skin. If you're really dark, this might have been a little ashy. But this was one highlighter shade that could really work for a wide variety of skin tones. This one, on the other hand, if you like that rose gold undertone, you might like it. And I think it might work for like a light medium uh, all the way to a darker skin tone. It's just really, really pretty. It's got a gorgeous, gorgeous tone to it. In fact, it reminds me of this shade in the rose in the bar of gold from Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, it's got, in fact, it is the exact same shade. 
Holy smokes, let's see here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold right here, okay? This is the middle shade of that, and this is the highlighter from Huda. So looking at it, the Huda Beauty is just a tiny, like just a pinch of a more of a champagne shade, just a tinch. This is definitely more of like a rose gold. This has got a little bit more of a champagne shade, and it's the exact same formula. So that's it for the application portion of the video. Let's go ahead and jump into the swatches, and then I will get into my final thoughts. all the information, I've applied it, I've swatched it next to some of the other highlighters that I have. Let me give you my thoughts. So let me say this, I'm gonna get into the pros and then we'll get into the cons. The pros, this is a beautiful highlighter. It applies and melts into the skin beautifully. It's one of my favorite formulas. There's a lot of different highlighters that have a lot of different formulas. This is the one that I love. Based on all the ones that I swatched, those are kind of the highlighters that I love. Those are the textures that I really, really enjoy. So as far as the formula goes, it's beautiful. As far as the shade goes, I think it's amazing because I do think it's gonna work for a wide variety of skin tones. I don't think it's gonna work for everybody, obviously, but I do feel like this will work for a wide variety, which is really nice from a highlighter. Uh, the packaging is not bad. Honestly, the packaging is not bad, especially for how much you get and how much you're paying, you know, per gram. This is a decent buy. It's got a beautiful frosted plastic piece to it. The rose embossing is so beautiful and it's really a beautiful thing to look at. It's got all those different valleys of color and I just, I really love the way that they created this. I just don't feel like this is gonna be a super travel friendly product because you know, I've heard so many people say that it has arrived broken. So those are the pros. The cons are, I don't know that I will ever in my lifetime ever use this much highlighter. This is a lot of highlighter. And I think we all change so frequently when it comes to what we like and what we don't like. For example, last year, I probably would have never liked the, the pinky, uh, rosy undertone in the highlighter. I was dead set on a gold champagne and that's all I wanted. Um, so I feel like we change and what we like and different things change so frequently that when you have something that has this much product, you will never go through it. It will, I don't know that you'd go through this in a lifetime. So I think that although I appreciate the fact that this is so reasonably priced for how much you get, I don't like the fact that it's because it's so big, it was like they used it as an excuse to charge the $55. So it kind of feels cash grabby to me because they know that nobody's gonna be able to use this much product. I mean, this has over an ounce worth of highlighter. That is an obscene amount of highlighter. I don't know, I would have preferred to have half the size uh, for like $35. I mean, I, I would have totally been fine with that. I just don't feel like you're ever gonna use this much highlighter, ever. And so you gotta keep that in mind if you're considering, you know, purchasing this. You saw me swatch it next to a lot of highlighters that I have, and I think the shade is just in line with many of them, and I do feel like it was very, very similar to the Bar of Gold in as far as the shade goes, but let me say this though. This highlighter has the same fragrance as the Bar of Gold, and this Bar of Gold highlighter has gotten worse as, I, as I've had it. When I first got this, I never noticed that it had this weird scent to it. 
And I've had people tell me, you might have got an old one because mine doesn't smell at all. As the time has gone on and I've had it, this has a weird scent to it and it gets stronger and stronger the longer that it stays in my collection. That makes me a little bit nervous to say because this one has the exact same scent to it. And because this is so much product, I feel like I don't know that this is going to last me, you know, for four or five years because that's probably how long it would take me to get through this. Because you only apply a little bit of highlighter. It's not like a bronzer where you're applying a lot. You don't apply that much. So it would take years to get through this. And I just don't know how long it's going to last. I want to always be 100% honest with you. I kind of feel like this is just a little bit too much. I mean, Flora is beautiful. It's a beautiful shade. I think it will work for a lot of different skin tones, but before you shell out $55, think about if you're going to, how you're going to use this and how you're gonna make it worth that much money. Because like I said, I would have preferred this to be much smaller because even though it's claiming to be an all over highlighter, you can use any of the highlighters that I swatched today or did in the price breakdown all over the body. Like I don't feel like we needed this much to have an all over body experience, you know? I just, I would have preferred it to be smaller, especially when she knows that we are in that age where so many brands have highlighters now, like every brand has a highlighter, that nine times out of 10, most people are gonna have a lot of highlighters in their collection. I don't see the need to have this much product in one pan, I just don't. So just keep all of that in mind. It's beautiful, it's a fabulous formula. If you've already splurged and got it, you won't be disappointed in the formula. I think it applies beautifully. If you're considering it and it's just really something that you wanna get, again, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed. Um, but I just don't think that we had the need to have that much highlighter. I have plenty of highlighters in my collection that I absolutely love and I will probably never get through them, let alone this one being $55 out the gate because it's expensive. I would have preferred to have three different options than have one big one this size in one shade. So those are my thoughts on this highlighter. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope that you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.